Well, fashion doesn't always make sense, but our next guest has a very good reason to make her designs really work for people. Yeah, these creations are for people going through things like chemo, uh, just like designer Michaela Castelli did. She joins us now from Brisbane. Uh, good morning, Michaela. Thank you for your time here. Um, could you please tell us um, a little bit about the health battle that, that got you thinking about fashion design? Absolutely. Good morning and, and thank you for having me. Um, I was diagnosed with bowel cancer when I was 32 and I spent a lot of time in hospital um, going through surgery and chemotherapy and being dressed and undressed and getting tangled in IV lines and pumps and really just becoming frustrated because I didn't feel like myself and I wasn't comfortable and that meant that I didn't feel confident. So I went through my treatment and I thought, how can I, how can I change this? This is, could be such a simple fix. Yeah, so, pretty so I set about designing a line. Sorry, Michaela, so pretty remarkable that you're in the fight of your life and then you have this genius business idea. So how do your designs make that time in hospital better? So we're all about helping women feel more comfortable and more confident when they're going through treatment. And that means we've designed something that can, they can be wearing in hospital, they can wear it at home, or they can wear it anywhere in between. Because patients are people too, and, and sometimes that's really easy to forget. Yeah, yeah Michaela, sometimes uh, chemotherapy involves uh, not necessarily being in hospital. You might be having it as an outpatient for the day. You'll be, you'll be you know, stranded sitting in a chair for, for some hours. You never know which arm necessarily, you know, there are all things and the clothes need to be flexible, you need to be comfortable, but you still want to look good. I think this is such an important idea because so much about beating cancer is about maintaining that good feeling about yourself. Absolutely. You still want to look and feel like yourself and, and you still want to look and feel your best regardless of what treatment you're going through. So take us through a few of the features of the range. I'd love to, thank you. So here we have uh, a beautiful adaptive dressing gown um, because for anybody who's spent time in hospital, you would know that those early morning blood tests uh, can be a very rude wake up call. Uh, so this gown opens all the way up the sleeves. So you just need to pop your arm out and the nurse will be able to find what she needs or he. Genius. Brilliant. And here we have our beautiful our Dolce dress here, which is the one that I'm wearing today. And this is our signature style. And you'll see the fabrics are really soft. I wish you could feel them. Um, they're super, super flowy. And again, here you can open the top uh, and that opens all the way down to the sleeve. Um, that's really great for access if you have a portacath for chemo yep. or a pick line that you need to access. And then they also open all the way down the sides here. So plenty of access if you're spending a long time in bed or you need a hand getting dressed um, or back to those pesky IV lines, you can open this and close it so that you're independent um, and can look and, and feel your best in hospital or at home. Because you're so vulnerable as well in those open-backed paper gowns, aren't yeah. you? So having something like this to keep you cosy and to keep yes. you safe is, is a really good thing. What's the response you've had um, to your designs, Michaela? This is just genius. Thank you. It's been beautifully positive. I've been I've been really touched, um, both from women who are, are wearing the garments in treatment or in care, uh, but also from people who are looking for practical and and pretty ways to support their loved ones when they're going through treatment as well. Yeah. Oh, it really is a fantastic thing, Michaela, and it's great to be so thoughtful to other people going through similar things. How how are you and your own health at the moment? I'm really well, thank you. Um, hopefully next month I'll be three years cancer-free. Oh, oh, how good are you? Well, you can find more at lemonada.com.au. Michaela, great idea. We'll pop the details on our social channels. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Take care, stay safe.